last bit, thanks to XKCD, who um, the author of which generally see allowed us to use this. Um, so here you see the jelly beans cause acne scientists investigate, you know, um, so we found no link between jelly beans and acne. The p value is greater than 0 0.05. Now we'll, we'll talk about what p value is a little bit later. Um, we've already seen it. It's the reason we knew that Steve's dye was rigged way back at the beginning of this section. But um, so that settles that. I hear it only um, a certain color causes the scientists, right? So they try out all these different kind of jelly beans. So they've got the purple jelly beans, no good. The brown jelly beans, no good. The pink jelly beans, no good. P blue jelly beans, nothing right and they keep going so they have teal salmon red turquoise magenta yellow gray tan cyan green uh oh but the green one had one see right there so let me let me highlight it for you all right i highlighted it but i know i moved it over so orient yourself for a second because i wanted to write up everything that i want to say about this so if you look here we have 20 studies total we have five rows by so five columns by four rows so that's 20 studies total we have 19 of them showing no relation between jelly beans and acne none 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 right then we have one that does and then none 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 right so if you set it as we read these studies just as a comment as we read these studies in the media so online on um, websites etc be careful because if somebody's just talking about this one study, they could be talking about the one and not about the 19, right? Especially if they have an ax to grind somewhere. There we go. I wrote that in. Um, by the ax to grind, I mean, are they politically motivated? Do you know, do they want certain things like I, I want there to be no such thing as global climate change. Therefore, I will ignore all the studies that show there is global climate change and I'll pay attention to the one that isn't, you know, that kind of thing or you know their religious views their political views etc if alpha was set at 0.05 we'd expect five percent of these studies to have be false positives type 1 error is a false positive so how much is that five percent of 20 is 0 0.05 times 20 which is one so it's most likely the case that the green jelly bean study is the false is the um one false positive that we're seeing it's a type 1 error and we should ignore it not talk about it on, ad nauseum on the news right Oops, I don't know why I did that there we go and I can't say this enough you really have to watch this in um, as you consume media as people tell you stories you know oh they did a study blah 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 so when they say they did a study sometimes it's the first study they've ever done there's only one study done etc when that happens that makes sense to pay attention to that one study but sometimes they've actually done lots of studies and the person that's talking to you really only wants to talk about the one that's a special case and not about all the rest of them so you got to be really careful when you're reading researching stuff was it that there was only one study available or was it that this one study is the only one that's showing what the person wants to hear all right so now we've learned a little bit about being careful with type 1 and type 2 errors and we still don't know how to actually run a hypothesis test but that's what we're going to learn how to do and what to do in section 10.2 so I'll see you